I'm probably, actually, I don't know if uh, people are familiar with my work, I actually uh, reformed serial killer. A reformed serial killer, right. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, I was, I was killing for fun, and then uh, a lot of people saw that skill set in me and uh, hired me to kill for them professionally. So you could say, I'm just a killer. I'm actually paralyzed from the yes, waist down. Yes, we can down. see that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're paralyzed from the waist down. Do tell. Uh, it's embarrassing, really. Uh, my last hit, um, actually, things got bad, which is one of the reasons I quit the industry. Uh, things got bad. Things got really desperate. Um, my wife left me. I had four kids, and well, she took everything. You know, well, she took everything. Uh, I had to, I had to survive. I had to. I don't even have a gun anymore. Uh, I, had to, I was using a fake gun for about two months. You so when you were using a fake gun, you were only scaring people. I assume because <coughs> you couldn't actually. It cuts me up, man. I. My last hit. Yes. There's a family in Chatswood. Um, I, I, I mean, people say you call it Chats Wong. Uh, you know, it's 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 the. Joke. So I would say that that's racist. It, I don't. You know, I come from a very liberal family where it's acceptable to okay. have have opinions about this. Anyway, uh, I was in Chatswood. There was a uh, a group of dogs that would keep up with these neighbours all night, uh, and the kids used to howl into the night. The mm -hmm. wife, she. She's actually uh, going through terrible stuff, and the family are very worried. Mm -hmm. And these dogs are keeping them up all night. And the da the father, the dad, he was a, he had a car dealership in uh, Chatswood. Um, he was a, he was a, he made a lot of money, um, and he really didn't want to have to put up with his wife. I mean, I, I hate to sound sexist, but the bitch was complaining a lot. Um, actually, that's that. I shouldn't say that. We should take that out later. Um, she was a lovely woman, but she was driving the crazy, the family crazy, and the dogs. And nevertheless, they wanted me to kill these dogs. <laughs> and to uh, a professional killer, that's probably that would demean it, it, it's, it's the sucking cock of the in the crack cocaine community. It's it's right. It's horrible. That's why I wear this hat, actually. Um, so, so, so you can ask you about your wife. Yeah. Well, 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 let's go back while you were still married. Sure, I, sure. I, I assume she knew what you did for a living. Well, any, any, any partnership, uh, professional or otherwise, you, you make certain sacrifices, and she didn't know. She didn't know what I did. Um, I'd go to work one day, I'd, I'd come home. You know, I was dad, you know, I was, you know, I was a great... Yeah, I miss those kids, you know, it, it cuts me up. It, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm ch ch chair bound, you know, I'm bound mm. to this chair. I don't have... <sighs> kids come over, I can't play with them, I can't go kick a ball around with Johnny down the park. You know, I can't uh, take the kids to the Easter show. You know, like, uh, you know, there's this um, renter dad, my, my, my wife, ex-wife sings. He's taking them to Easter show. Man, you know, obviously very emotional. I, I can't even. Uh, I've learned now from the past of just the, the countless murders that I've perpetrated. I don't get emotional, so this is probably the most. Oh, emotional. Uh, uh, this is probably the most emotional you're going to see me. Uh, I can't. I can't do it. So as after your wife left you, I become cold. You know, I became cold. Even once, did you cry? Alone, in the in the bathroom in front of a mirror, I would cry and. Watch the tears fall into the sink and... Dogs ripped the shit out of my legs, man. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, you... Vicious animals, beasts. They were. Ripped my legs. Um, so... At my ankles, nipping at my heels. Next thing you know, I've, uh, I've lost half my leg. <laughs> I can't have to laugh about it. I haven't laughed about I'm it. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I don't know why you're sure what you're laughing about. I'm laughing. I'm <laughs> laughing. I'm laughing. I'm <laughs> ripped my legs well, up. I just find it ironic. I let you into my house. I made you a cup of tea. And, <laughs> well, yeah, no, you, your, your cup of tea was crap. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I'm just, no, don't kill me. The reason that um, we're very successful is we're, we're loners in the community. Uh, wolves. Preying on the, the the lost souls of the community, and um, so it's our job. You know. I want to tell you about. It. He's got this, this new band coming out. Um, really? Yeah. Really? He's, 
It's why I'm wearing the hat. Um, it's uh, well, they're trying to come up with it. Anyway, it's not important. But he was a former a hammer thrower in Poland. Came over. He's really doing it. He's really? just he's yeah. He's, uh, I gotta I gotta play, play some songs later. Maybe we can play at the credits. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. Why well, wouldn't we? And um, man's called DNA. They're amazing. They can break it big uh, with the right audience, the right management. Um, and what's your role in all this? They come over to my house, but I think they love the the dark side. The dark side. Mm. Right. They love the dark side. They love a guy. It's edgy to them, you know. They you know put on some Sabbath and roll a couple of joints and they, then they create in this kind of atmosphere where they know that death surrounds them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 my, it's my way of the highway. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no dramas. So one more question. Before by the hat, I'm a killer. Right. Um, well, I, I certainly didn't mean to offend, I was just, um... Or a I, did, I did strip from... In the mid nineties, you know, well, I was, uh, <laughs> are you, are you taking it? Really <laughs> no, nah, it's bullshit. Don't believe that. Don't believe the hype. You know. Um, um what, what, what would you body, what, what, you know? Well, exactly. I mean, I'm love it. I love a couple of naughty burgers every so often. Yeah. Okay. All right. Obviously, killing people and uh, stripping for money—they're two different things completely. I mean, I, are they really? The screams of. The victims and the screams of a uh, horny man are completely, completely different. So, uh, my, probably my, my second breakup. It was, it was, it was brutal. I just met her. We went on this uh, beautiful trip together, and she left. Um, we we did kind of uh, did we this great connection. You know, we really this great energy about it. You know and. And then she left, and um, I was, you know, I'm just a guy, you know, just a man. We don't talk about our feelings, you know, men, we don't do that, but she really had a part of me, you know, and uh, after, after she left, I killed. The first kill. Tell me about it. No one forgets the first kill. No one does. When you pull that trigger and just point the gun at another human being and then you can see their life flash before their eyes and you pull that trigger, it's... I uh, saw so a little smile on your face then. Uh, I mean, is that, is, is, does that mean, it, 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 in a way, it's enjoyable? It's a, it's a wry, dry, death humour. Their life literally does flash before their eyes and you're the one responsible for taking it. One raw, never, never any children. And, uh, and never any celebrities have given me a lot of humour in my life, you know, they've really entertained me. That, that drum, that drum gets in. And then the... Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna t t sort of shift the gear again. God. He's amazing. Also a recovering alcoholic, which probably you don't, I'm not aware of. No, that's... No, we took the same meetings. He actually has, has a home here in Sydney. Oh, uh, right. Just down... Among the gum trees. <laughs> <laughs> so when you die, you will not be judged for your... I see that's what you're going with. Uh, I judge myself every day. I think that's enough. Well, the victims. There's demons. Themselves. Well, well, but the the victims' family might think that that's not enough. Who am I to have an opinion on that? It's a p p painful. Well, well, um, well, you you said you judge yourself, and that's enough. But some people, if I dare say, beg to differ because they say, well, that's just not enough. You make a bit of a judgment. You play a computer and you go on with your life. But the families who are left behind, do you ever think of them? I think of it a day slow. How would you like to be remembered? You know, a man who loves a nice cold beer and a good time, a good bloke.